New at 11, there could be trouble at Smith Mountain Lake, and if things don't change, a number of other problems could float to the surface. Local anglers have said they are catching fewer striped bass, and new research says they're right. 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer joins us now tonight with a plan to help change that. Shane? Lindsay and Brittany, they don't call them fish stories for nothing, but these stories, I can tell you, they're now legit. On average, it's taking a fisherman about four hours to catch one striped bass, up from three hours in years prior. And in 2016, they caught half the number of striped bass they caught five years before. No laws are changing, but a new voluntary guideline hopes to reverse those numbers. It may not always crank the first time, but as long as it fires up, it's always a good day at Smith Mountain Lake. However, a new spoil may be lurking. None of us know exactly why uh, that decline has occurred. Uh, we hope that it's temporary, not permanent. Striped bass is the big get and has always been precious in these waters. Legally, you can keep two, then catch and release. But now we know in warm months, that's just as bad. More recent research has shown with radio tagging and with underwater video cameras that uh, they sink to the bottom and die. The Smith Mountain Striper Club says nearly three quarters of all released stripers do just that. That's the basis for a new education campaign and these signs promoting anglers to voluntarily catch their two and then quit during warm water. And I've always done it for uh, largemouth bass and everything else and I really want to sustain the fishery so that we can come back in 5, 10, 15 years and have as many if not more fish than we do now. This year the state also changed the way it stocks, launching the baby stripers into deep water instead of at the docks to avoid predators. An outright ban isn't on the radar, but Smith Mountain Lake is a bass heaven, and this is too important to lose. If that trend continues, that reputation is going to decline. And that has negative implications relative to tourism and economic impact. Smith Mountain Lake is known for its annual bass fishing tournament. The biggest one that draws hundreds of competitors is a largemouth bass tournament, so this does not impact them. But there were a few smaller summer striper tournaments. Those have been discontinued. In studio, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you.